Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. So I wanted to do a career reading for you guys. Career, ooh, Queen of Wands is the situation. Queen of Wands. Let's see what the action is and what is the outcome. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so your situation is the Queen of Wands. That is absolutely believing in yourself. That's getting that fiery passion about what's going on with life. Ah, having an enthusiastic time passionate opportunity for life the queen is the queen okay she's one step down from the king but she has the passion to go after what she wants out of life okay definitely a passion fiery card this is what's happening in your career and your finances you're going after what you want you have that drive no matter what you're going to achieve what you want in this okay your action is to rest the four of swords okay your heart needs a rest your mind needs a rest rest up because whatever this is it's about to come quick and it's about to be you know requiring you to be rested up well rested that's what i'm getting from father you need to be well rested for the next step in this in order to get the coin why because you're moving on to calmer waters when it comes to things okay when it comes to life in general you're sailing on to calmer waters. So that's amazing, you guys. Um, I think that the six of, it's the six of swords, by the way, you guys. And that just means that, you know, it's it's things are looking up. Things are definitely looking up. This is because the hidden energy is the death card. Death and rebirth, though. Death and rebirth. Every time the death card comes, people get a little bit worried. But the death card just lets you know that there will be a rebirth. So you have to close one door in order to open another one. There's a really big opportunity that you have taken advantage of, that you have been passionate about, that you've been putting the work in, confident in, spreading your wings, believing in this. You need to get a little bit of rest, though. A little bit of rest. Even if you're, you know, at home mom or anything like that, it's just rest season. Take a rest for a couple of days, you know, especially because we're going into the holiday season. And I'm, I'm getting that you're going to be doing a lot of work on top of that. So protect your, your mind on that, okay, you guys? And Six of Swords just, you know, sailing into calmer times, you know. You, you came from something that was just really, really, really mentally oh counterproductive when it comes to your finances when it comes to your family when it comes to your money and now you're getting out of your head in a way you're you're finding a way to balance those thoughts so i have angel of abundance cards i'm gonna pull three of them let's see what these three say one two and then one more father for angels of abundance one more okay angels of abundance positivity faith and optimism okay have some faith about this financial thing. Positivity, faith, and optimism. Having faith, standing strong in what you believe. If you believe this money is coming, believe it. Don't let anybody take that thought process from your head, okay? You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you're on. Keep the faith and keep going, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Positive, positively. Have the faith, okay? It says bountiful nature, bountiful nature, spending time in nature helps you shift into a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet, meditate beneath a tree garden or sit under the stars. Do some activity to connect you to the unlimited vastness because when you start to look at the sky, you start to see how unlimited possibilities are. You kind of have to get out, well, not kind of, you do have to get out of your house in order to find out that, you know, take a breath, take a walk, take a walk in the park, you know, and look around and see how unlimited the grass goes all the way over there, you know. Think about that when it comes to finances because that is where your blessing comes from, especially connecting with nature. When you connect with nature, you also just feel better you know it's something about the oxygen that the, that the plants you know produces and things like that that fresh air is always important okay and sever vows of poverty please get out of that lack mindset get out of the mindset of i can't or i won't and i i you know i don't see it or it's not gonna happen or you know it always happens to other people blah, 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 blah. No, stop that. Stop that right now. It says, Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. 
As you do so, all effects of these vibes will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So, let go of the thought of I can't. Let go of the thought of I won't or, you know, um, it's never me or my family never prospers. I'm hearing all kinds of like negative talk. Get away from negative talk because what you have to do is even if you don't see it, even if no one in your family has ever done something, even if, you know, even if you've never seen it up close, you know, you can change your channel, change your channel on your brain, but change the channel on your TV. Watch things that are just uplifting. Watch things that are giving you hope and faith and, you know, giving you that warm fuzzy in, the, in, in your chest to make you feel like, yes, I can do this. I can do anything. And remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope this information helped and bless. I will see you all next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.